Hello, um, welcome to my third Java tutorial. Um, I apologize for those who liked my videos that it took me so long. Um, it didn't seem to me that nobody really liked them, but I've had a few subscribers, so I decided I might as well continue. Okay, today, <clears throat> what we're going to do pretty much is something called conditions. Um, it's just like it sounds. Um, it is, you know how you can have certain conditions for things? Like, um, if you, like, you will only go to jail if you do a crime. Or, you can only go this far outside of the lawn if it is this time of day kind of thing. Like, conditions in real life aren't that different from conditions in programming. So, um, say, um, well, let's just start writing a program here. And I, everything I'm going to type I went over in the first one, first couple. Um, so, I named this file practice3.java, so, um, like in the other videos, public class, practice3, and then our open and close brackets, and then public static void. And like I mentioned before, this stuff is probably confusing to you at this point. Like, why? You're probably thinking, why do we need this? It seems kind of pointless. Well, there there is a point to it. I mean, it's... I'm not 100% sure myself, but every program needs to have these the public class, and then we're renamed it, and then your main. Okay. Last time we did variables, so I hope those are still fresh in your mind. So, I'm going to start out by making a variable, an integer, which is a positive or negative number that doesn't have a decimal point. So, I'm going to say int, and then what should I name it? Um, I'll name it age. Int age, and I'll set it equal to 15. Okay. So now we've just stored in the computer's memory a box. And the box has a label, age, and in the box is the number 15. And at any time in the program, you can change or check or do any number of things to a variable. That's why they're so handy. Okay, so here's why conditions are handy. Say your program, say you wanted to program something that it only let the person vote if they were over 18. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So, to start a condition, you say if, and then open and close parentheses, like the system.out.print thing. You have open parentheses, it's shift 9 and shift 0. Um, and then we're going to check, what we're going to do is we're going to check a certain thing. And if that thing is true, then the code inside this if statement is going to run. I'll, it'll be clear in a second, I'll show you. If age is greater than or equal to 18, and then like public class and like main, we're going to have open and close brackets. Okay, so everything in between these brackets right here 
is only going to get run if age is greater than or equal to 18. So it it means pretty much like it reads. You know, it's almost like a sentence. If age is is or is higher than 18, then do a certain thing. And we're going to say system dot out dot print and then open and close parenthesis quotations and we're going to say welcome to the vote booth okay and then don't forget your semicolon statements have semicolons now keep in mind if does not have a semicolon well that's because it isn't a statement if you're just giving the program an instruction just a basic instruction like for this line we're telling the program to set aside memory for age and set age equal to 15 that's a command you're telling the computer to do this so after that it, it's like a period in programming pretty much and same for here we're ordering the computer to print something to the screen for us and that has a semicolon things like conditions that aren't really statements they're more like questions kind of if that makes sense I'm probably not helping but now let's see what happens if we run this. Well, what's this? No, nothing. Nothing came up whatsoever. Hmm, isn't that weird? Well, it's not, actually. The computer is doing exactly what we told it to. Age is equal to 15. So, the computer is going to replace age with 15, because that's what we told it. We told it age is the equivalent of 15. So, if 15 is greater than or equal to 18, which we know it's not, then print this. Now, if we were to change age to, say, 30, and compiled our program and ran it. Welcome to the vote booth. Press any key to continue. Which is our sentence here. Now, I mean, I think it's pretty straightforward why that did that, but uh, 30, age is 30, and 30 is obviously greater than 18. So, if this becomes true, this question right here, or having the program ask itself a question, and if the question is something that's true, then you can run whatever is assigned to this question. Um, and now... I hope everyone get under like understands that. Um now I'm gonna show you um the else. So we can say if this is equal to this, and then we can say else, which is the Java Java equivalent of otherwise, pretty much. Like it's kind of like a fallback. You don't need it, but for some things, you you might. But overall, you you don't need an else with an if. You could just have an if if you wanted. Uh, but if you wanted a fallback, like if this isn't true, and you wanted to do something specific, if it's not, you can put an else, which is the equivalent of otherwise. And then otherwise... It is the same format as the if system dot out dot print 
and then a sentence will say go away minor and then semicolon okay now again if we run this it's not going to change because age is still greater than 30 but say we change the age to 10 now remember last time we did this nothing happened now it says go away minor and that's because if we were to read this like English this would say if your age is at least 18 then welcome to the vote booth otherwise so it's pretty much saying if you're not at least 18 then it will tell you to go away you are a minor you can't vote go cry something something to that effect so it, it's uh, it's pretty easy to read as English for the most part um and another thing you could do so there's else and then there's if and they're usually used in conjunction but there's one more it's called an else if kinda confusing it may sound but you could say it, it's kind of like the else except it's another condition like if this is wrong it'll say okay that's not right what do I do okay I'll check and see if this is right so we could say if age is less than 10 then we could change this to say you are way too young to vote.